Hey everybody, it's Desiree, and it is finally towards the end of the month. It should be the last day of the month when this video goes up. Should be. Could be. Possibly. Anyway, this is the Club Pink one. Yay. I like my pink zebra. I've got a party to go to. Yay! Oh, strings are in the way. How cute is that? Anyway, we have Club Pink. Love this stuff. I will be showing a little bit more on this video at the end once I talk about the product. So if you want to see it a little bit more in depth, there you go. And it says this month, months, actually this is from March. I don't learn to speak in the first place. Uh, March's new scent that they'll have is Peach Gelato, Sweet Ripe Peaches Fresh from the Vine, used to make a refreshing gelato peach perfection. And of course, you can make a fruit sundae with a little bit of peach gelato and I love watermelon. Or peach meadows, which is peach gelato and bamboo mists. Now, my husband's already got a satchel of this inside a sandwich bag. It's opened in his truck. And it's not a strong deodorizing smell, but it's enough to kind of cover a little bit of the oil. Make the oil grease paint thinner paint smell that's in his truck smell a little bit better. Pretty and sweet. And there it is. Isn't it cute? Alright. It looks like this this month. My husband's already been digging into it. It always comes with a little scoop. And if you don't know what pink zebra is, it's soft soy candle sprinkles. And you can mix and match in which you'll see later on in this video. And I'll even use one of my things, my warmers, that's sitting in the freezer right now. That is actually not a pink zebra warmer and it comes out the same way as the pink zebra warmer stuff. But oh yeah, I smell outside the container. I forgot to tell you what the smell, what it smells, you know, if it actually smells like it. Yeah. I'm having one of those days. It's like a peach with a I don't know what that other smell is. I don't know. It kind of smells like a peach with carbonation, like a peach pop. But that's it. I will leave my link down below if you want to check it out. They have new catalogs on there. And if by chance you don't want to view the catalog on there, but you'd rather one be sent to you, let me know. I will leave my email down below and I will mail you one. Free of charge. And that's all I have for this moment. But stay tuned because I'm about to show you some other goodies. All right, this is what we're dealing with. Don't mind the sink mats or counter mats for drying off stuff. We've got two living room dishes, my bedroom dish, uh, my office dish, and my son's bathroom dish. These go on warmers, and I will show you each one of those. But we are going to mix and match. And this is what I mean. You can mix and match. You could do one to two smells. Or you could do multiple, which I have 10 of them sitting there that I'm going to mix together, which you're going to think, oh my gosh, that's going to smell horrendous or really strong. And there's one more thing I want to show you before I move on and show you the other stuff. This is from my office. It's been sitting in the freezer for about five minutes. Oh, good. It's loosened up good. It just dumps out. That is the soy wax thing. We save these and either make emergency candles with it or, which when I say emergency candles, all these we melt back down and put into like large mason jars or anything like that. Or we take them with us when we go camping and throw them in the fire pit and a little bit of the smell will be there. All right. 
All right, we're going to start out with a little bit of sunflower fields. We're just going to sprinkle. Oh, that smells like sunflowers. That's wonderful. You don't have to do all of them in the same smells. Like, you can individually do rooms. That's amazing. And we also have the Vibrant Freesia. That one smells like a bathroom deodorizer a little bit, a floral one. two favorite colors in there. <laughs> Imagine that. We also have garden lilac. You don't really need this much, what I'm putting in here, but it will last. I'm trying to just show you guys, but it will last a little bit longer. You know, the, strong, the smell will be a little bit stronger. Apple blossom. sorbet. How pretty that is. And all in all, you really only need one of those scoops, two tops. We kind of go a little crazy with ours. But for the price, you can't beat going crazy for it. This one is Clover Patch. And this smells like springtime grass right there. I know a lot of people it's got hay fever and stuff, but I think, oh boy. No, but it doesn't smell too bad. And I'm one of those people that when somebody cuts the grass, my sinuses start acting up. This is fresh linen. I give it an even more cleaner smell. I close that on a line in the summertime. Blowing in the wind under this beautiful sun. My Sun should be home in a little bit, so hopefully I can get this done before he does. This one's fresh grass. It's a different color green. Now it smells like the morning dew type of grass. Like the actual good smelling morning dew kind of grass. Almost done here. This one is sweet pea and lily. Oh, well, I guess my son's gonna smell more sweet pea and lily in his bathroom probably. one is Prairie Sky. It is a very beautiful color.
check that out. It's like fruity pebbles. You can either mix them around or just leave them the way they are. I like to mix them around. I think that's pretty. And look at that prairie sky on top of there. That looks like Easter colors. All right, this is my son's simmering pot. It's just one of those little ones. You can just put the dish on there. Got the little turn on thing. And there it goes. Actually, this smells good. All right, off to the next one. All right, here's one of the simmering lights that's in my kitchen, which, you know, this is just a shade that goes on top of it. This comes apart and even has zebra on the light bulb. You just stick that on top and reach back here and there it is. Isn't that cute? Perfect for the little hunters out there. Now, my, uh, my deer antler shade used to be over here, but my husband said the light was too bright and was interfering him watching TV, so we switched places with the barrel, and that's just a barrel shade. I mean, look at that. Simmering light. A lot of these simmering lights, you can get different colored bases, like there'll be white ones or brown ones or black ones. Same deal. Kind of hard to do this. <laughs> it's easier with two hands than one. Alright. You turn it on. There you go. I mean, look how cute that is. Now, this one is in my bedroom. It's a green one. It looks like it's all broken, but it's not. And I got a yellow base underneath it. It's the same deal. Oop. Dropped a little sprinkle. Goes in there. Turn that on. And that's what it looks like when the light is, the bedroom light's turned off. And last but not least, the non-pink zebra item, the one that the soy just fell right out of it. Sometimes you just gotta rub it around a little bit when it's been hardened and put in the, ref the freezer. Turn it on. There we go. And that's with the light off. Well, actually, technically, that light's still on. Not sure where it's at. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the link below. Send me your address and I'll mail you out a catalog or samples. If you look online, there's a lot of time, there's a big chance I'm going to have the samples you're looking for. <laughs> um, I will send you samples. All of it's for free. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see y'all later.